So for today's card, we're going to use the Trifold 5x7 die set and I'm going to make a double showstopper card. So I've already gone ahead and cut everything out. So if you've not seen this one being used before, I do have some other tutorials using the die set. So I'll link those up here. To make a double, you want to cut two of the main plate. So this one here on the back has got all of your score and cut lines that you need. So I've run that through twice. This is about a 220 GSM cardstock and I'll go through the folds in a moment. Also in the set, you get all of your mats and layers here. Now you've got them for a, a couple of different configurations. So if you've just done the single card like this and you can have it so it, it faces out like this, or you can have it that way, you've got these mats and layers for the insides. And then you've got these mats and layers for these parts here. And then you've got all of the smaller mats and layers here for all of these bits but if you double it up like this then you have these large mats and layers which will go right in the middle and that's what we're going to be doing today so i've cut those two in silver and then in the cardstock and then i've embossed it using my ditzy print embossing folder and because it's a white core cardstock when it's cut through it's left this really cool effect so you get the white coming through and the pink background so cut both of those and then you also want to cut these ones here twice. So I've got my design for this side and then my design for that side. So you can see once that's on top with that in the middle, you can see the showstopper card shape coming together there. The papers are all from my new paper pad, so it will all be linked in the description box below. So once everything's cut, so for the folds, yours will be like this. I always like to just go over the score lines with my scoreboard. So from this side here, you want this one to be a mountain fold and this one to be a valley fold. As soon as you do those two like that, just move it and this will automatically start to come up into this shape here. So you just want to make sure you've got a mountain fold and then a mountain. This is like a step. These are both mountains and then these are the valleys. So you should have five mountain folds and five valley folds. So do that on both pieces and then I'm going to stick them together. But you can also stick together this way and it creates another unusual card. So you could have, you know, a big topper in the middle here. There's so many different ways to use this set. It is one of my favourites. So I'm going to use my construction glue. So this is nice and strong and I'm just going to run it all the way up through the middle there and then just sit that one over the top like so. And whilst that's drying, I'm going to stick this one down because that will hold it all in place as well. And then just fold them over the top of each other and just make sure everything's lined up. I've got an envelope to fit this size card when it's all flat. And again, I'll link those up here. So you'll see now how that stands when it's displayed. And then you can cut those mats and layers again and cover the back. And then that's your place to be able to write your message. So I'm now going to stick these down on each side and then I've also cut all of the other mats and layers. And what I've just tried to do is from the same sheet of paper is, I think it's that one, yeah, so that continues the design there, you can see. So that's going to go down the side there and then again with that one you can see how that matches up. So that's going to go down there and then all of these ones cover all of these sections. So I'm going to stick all of that down. So this one's going to be a 21st birthday card. So I've used my large modern numbers. So you get your mats and your layers. So I've got the 21st here and I've used my accent glaze on the top just to give it a little bit of shine. Just see there. And I've popped it up on foam as well. And then I've taken this topper from the paper pad and I think I'm going to have that lifted up on some foam with the 21st in the middle. And then I've taken this one as well from the paper pad and I was going to have that running through the middle there. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam, I think, to the back. Let me just place this just to see if it was all going to... I think I need to just add a little bit of glue and get this stuck on first so it becomes like one topper. So I'm just going to add a little glue to there and there. Place that down and then... In with this one and then I'm going to pop foam on the back of that
Okay, so just put some foam either end of this strip and just a little glue there just so it can tack onto the bottom of the circle here. And then I'm going to finish it off with some sequins, I think. And there's the finished card. And it all folds down. And like I said, I've got the envelope box for this, but I've also got the gift bag as well, which I didn't mention. And I show you how you can have an acetate window and with the handles and it just looks really nice. I think, again, that would go perfectly with this theme. So as always, thank you for watching. I will link as much of the product as I can in the description box below. And I'll have the other trifold tutorials coming up here. You might want to watch those ones next. If you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.